Hey guys, this is Landon from Reptiles Landon bringing you a bearded dragon setup video. And in here, we have my bearded dragon. By the way, guys, this is not his habitat. This is just the container I'm keeping him in. Yeah, he's pretty healthy. He has been eating two plate servings or his little food dish filled with mustard greens and he has been eating 20 dusted crickets a day so he will be getting a big oh yeah those are mustard greens I put a little bit of calcium powder and I misted them but yeah I missed her okay let's get on with the enclosure I have a It is in eight rock heat. No. One hundred twenty volt heat pad on the bottom. This is seventy five seventy five watt heat lamp. And um, I think this is a 50 watt UVB. I don't know. Don't quote me on that. But okay. And I'm not using sand or reptile carpet because reptile carpet is, I think, kind of expensive. And but it's hard to see reptile and sand cause an infection because while they are little, they are a little clumsy. So you don't want them to eat it because they cannot pass it. So. I'm sorry, I didn't know that was there. So he's ripping up the paper towel. D yeah, just so we can put him in. It comes in like rectangular squares and he's putting it along. Yeah. By the way guys, this is the cool, the hot side I mean. Because the heat pad and the heat lamp. And I have my temperature my thermometer. And then I'll put in the food dish. Dish. By the way, this is ice, um, not iceberg. Iceberg can kill them, but this is mustard greens. I, I also know that you can use dandelion leaves and turnip greens. Yeah. And this is what I'd be used for is basking its grapevine cork, cork grapevine. Block the thermometer. Hmm. What temperature should their tank stay at? Um, eighty to eighty-five. So it's actually going to be pretty high. And do you recommend a water bowl or a hide? Um, I don't recommend either of those because the one. If they don't really hide, they're either eating or they're basking. And water bowls, I guess if they have too much water, they will be sick or they will get sick. So I advise just using, um, just mist them, I guess, like a few times a week and um, mist their, and they do get a lot of 
um, moisture through crickets and greens. And this is very awkward. So hold on guys, I'm gonna switch this out with this line that I have ducks in. Just because that It's one, not going in. What? It's not going in. It does, but it, it just um take it just blocks the thermometer. Uh. So So this is the cage so far. Just all you have is a paper towel split up and laid out. Not wet paper towel. Yeah, because they are from Australia, so they like um um dry and hot. And then we just have misted, not soaked, um what is what do you want to call it? Mustard greens? Yes. Okay, that's good. Oh, and Lynn also said you don't want the the vine thingy that they're basking on too close to the top because if you have a heating lamp, lamp yes, you, they, they could burn themselves, right? And yeah, with lizards, they can't really like with us when we touch when we touch something hot, we said ow. But with lizards and snakes and frogs, their bodies back away from it for a little bit, and then the temperature of their bodies itself. Because they thermoregulate to get heat, which means they change their temperature to adapt. So all they do would change their temperature, so that hot temperature feels comfortable. So it will, it can burn them. Hold on, I gotta fix this. This tank is uh, really simple to set up. It's yeah. not that hard. Well, they, I do have a baby. Yeah. He is only a couple weeks old. Held in a ten-gallon tank. Yeah. That vine's actually pretty cool. I might get it for my tree frog. What's it called? What? What's that vine like like called? Flunker or something. Mm. I don't know the exact name. But whatever substrate you're using, it does make a mess. Because it does make a mess out of it. But okay, this vine is uh, terrible for trying to... Uh, Okay, let's try this. Yeah, it's better to get this flat. Oh my gosh. This paper towel keeps getting messed up. Okay, last attempt. I'm trying to get it stable because I don't want it to like. Okay, now it is stable, so I guess you can climb up for here, back up here, and if you wanted to, you could come up here to get really close to the heat. I want that too high. Okay. And yeah, yeah, that's good. Let me fix the paper towel because, by the way, I know that it's kind of weird of me keep trying to fix the paper towel, but when because I feed him inside his own tank, and um, if your baby towel isn't lined, well, the crickets do get under, and then they make, and they chirp at night, so I don't want that to happen. So. And you can't wet it, so it's kind of hard for it to yeah. stay down flat. Yeah. I'll actually fix this later, it doesn't really matter. Okay, and then that's good. I'm going to put the bit of dragon in. Knuckles. 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 
and knuckle the bearded dragon. <laughs> He's too young to see what sex he is, so, um, in the summer, you said, right? Yeah, in the summer, he might be big enough for us to tell if he's a boy or a girl. See, I'm afraid that's too wobbly. I'll fix it after the video, just so I can show you guys. So then, just calling him a he, for yeah. now. Okay, and then we have the lid. 75 watt. And the UVB I would put on, but it is nighttime and it's supposed to only go on for 12 hours a day. So. And that's what the finished product looks like. Not too many things in there. No, it's pretty simple. Okay, see you guys. This is Reptile, Reptiles and Lantern bringing you another video. Peace.